My eyes have been itchy these days. Oh! Oh, I got a gun? It's just some kind of disease. Hell, you guys getting shot, boy! Bitch, you suck my dick. Shut up! Suck this! Yo, what is going on? It's your boy JB, and today we're gonna be playing a game called No, I'm Not a Human. Now, I keep hearing this game get compared to things like That's Not My Neighbor, so I'm guessing it's gonna be the same thing where you gotta, like, you know, talk to random people and, you know, and decide to let them in or not and stuff like that. And if you see my That's Not My Neighbor video, you'll know that I'm trash. No, I'm not a human. I'm a. What? I, what what is what is all this language right here? What is that coding? Okay. Oh. Oh, it's 3D. That's tough. This doesn't look kind of crazy though. I ain't gonna cap. So are they gonna knock at the door? Entrance open. Who the hell is this? People from the cities already have already started coming to the neighbors. People have changed a lot. If if they come to your place, you can let them in. Just be careful, okay? I've heard a lot of people being killed by other people. Now I hear these stories more often and more often. An acquaintance said that creatures that look like humans are coming. In a few days, they will tell me what signs can be used to distinguish from them humans. You can't stay alone. Something very evil will come in. Who knows what's next? Uh, boy, should I trust you? You don't even look human a little bit. <laughs> Damn, jaw fat as hell, boy. All right, is it safe outside? It's safe to look out the windows at night. And I, I even recommend it. That way, you at least realize what's around your house. It's hard to look out during the day. It gets very hot. The light hurts my eyes. I'll sleep in your cabinet tonight, and tomorrow you can do it yourself. Come and see me in the afternoon, and we'll talk. Okay? It seems no one else will come tonight. Did, did he just tell me he's gonna sleep in my cabinet? Alright, let's go to sleep. Alright, who the hell is this? Good morning, dear viewers! It's the morning weather forecast. The sun keeps shining, and the summer heats persist in our town. The duration of this heat has already broken a Guinness record, and it seems that the good weather isn't g going anywhere. I don't think this is a human, bro. <laughs> Look at this man. Eyes big as hell, long neck eyes. Scientists are closely monitoring solar activity and predict its intensification, but they assure us there's no need to worry. So grab your sunglasses, take your best swimsuits, and don't forget your hats. And most importantly, make sure you don't get sunstroke. Lately, there's been more weird behavior in the town, and experts think it's because it's too much sun. Okay. So, living room. We got the cabinet. Wait, no, wait, the cabinet. He's in here. Cabinet. Oh! No offense, my baby. No offense. But you ugly as shit. You ugly as shit. I wouldn't smash. Did you see the newscast? It's a nightmare. Okay, in this heat, every dialogue is going to waste your energy. So, I think. So, think hard about who you want to talk to. And one more thing checking people for signs of guests should be the dialogue, too. So be careful how you spend your energies. If you decide to talk to everyone and you don't want to sleep, have a beer. Go to the kitchen and have a cold one from the fridge. It'll use up all your energy and you'll want to sleep right away. Let me preface this with a word just in case. During the day, you can talk to your house guests about all the sorts of things. You can check for signs of fake people. You can decide what to do with the human in your opinion. If you don't want to communicate with anyone else but still have strength, drink beer in the kitchen. And wait for help. If they call an evacuation, stay close to my family. Now have a beer and get some rest. You look tired. By the way, I've heard at night someone walks around and asking if you're home alone. If you open the door, don't say that you're all alone. Okay. So I used already I already used one energy. Alright, so he said he left me a beer. Let's go ahead and drink the beer. Oh, I'm feeling drowsy in the beer, the best thing right now. Okay. Let's go to sleep. Alright, it's nighttime. I heard somebody knocking at the door. Okay. Um, do I look at the window first? Nobody's there? Even alcoholics for some reason decided not to show up in the street. Are they afraid of someone? But I heard somebody knocking though. Are they out here? Oh! Is 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 my dad here? Can you call him? It wasn't scary during the day, but now it is. A lot of people went out at night. What? What's your father's name? Did you forget his name? Oh, you're checking to see if I'm a visitor. Oh! You're smart. I'll start checking people now too. Um, are you afraid of visitors? Did you get here safely? Are you afraid of visitors? I don't know. Everyone is scared of them. I'm scared of them too. I haven't seen one of them. Are they scary? Do they hurt? If my friend from school hit me hard, is he a visitor too? Daddy said to be careful. I'm very careful. I came here very quietly. No one saw me. Mmm. I'm calling the dad for you. Good luck. Thanks. Good luck to you too. We go now. I'm scared to be outside alone at night. 
Stop yeah. making this ugly ass face. We're going to play a game. He made me some kind of game where you have to roll the dice and then walk on objects. I mean, like a chair or a couch. And then you have to build a road anyway. I'll show you later. Who the hell? Goodbye. Oh, that was her father. Okay. Somebody else is here already? Damn. No, sir, you're not human. You're not human. I was hiding in the pub, but I was kicked out. I'd have kicked your ass out too. Why? Hmm, not everyone can handle my temper. But I don't mean to offend anyone. Don't get me wrong, it's just sometimes it gets sickening. You know how it is. What do you think? Will you let me in? Um, are you sure there won't be any trouble with you? What do you mean by troubles, homeowner? Murder and fights are against my soul, but I let no harm come to myself. What I like is eating and drinking and, and talking in a good mood. Is that a problem? You know, you seem, you seem pretty hostile, bro. You seem like passive aggressive. I ain't letting your ass in. And you got them long ass arms, or I can't take you in a fight. You got all the reach in the world. Why did they kick you out your last shelter? Dot, dot, dot. I was thinking to tell you something offensive, but I changed my mind. See, that's what I'm telling you, bro. This man is passive aggressive. Like, I, I don't want to, I don't want you here, bro. You're going to cause problems. I told you, people just felt uncomfortable with me. There were all sorts of weirdos. No, you're the weirdo, weirdo sir. I, when I think about it, maybe it was for the best that he kicked me out. Those who would have eaten me alive and not even noticed. Hmm. He's, he, okay, so he's, so he's showing that he regrets saying, uh, you know, bad things and, he, and he's, he's, he's admitting that he's the problem. I think, I think this dude can change, bro. Come on then, Brody. Thanks. Trusting people nowadays is, is worth more than a coin. Plus, if there's a fight, I can use him, bro. That's why I appreciate your trust. Maybe. Alright, I can't promise anything. Okay. Somebody else is here? Hello! What the hell? You look like, uh... You look like somebody from Shrek. Look, Lord Farquaad and his haircut, bro. Sorry for disturbing you so late. It's just so hot during the day. The TV said it's better to not to go out in the sun. Is there any corner for me? Nah, the way you slump in your shoulders right now making me think you're a crackhead. Who are you? Hmm, I used to live closer to the town. The asphalt heats... The, the, as, uh, the asphalt heats up pretty intensely out here. Haha, <laughs> ugh. I used to work as a cashier. Not anymore, though. I got fired, just didn't have any luck with work. Alright, what do you think will happen in the future? What are you going to do now? What are you going to do now? Hmm, I'll try to survive somehow. It scares me, and of course, these visitors around... Of course, with these visitors around and the sun blazing just like hell, like... I cannot read today! What the fuck? I really want to live. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Ain't you scared? Please tell me it's gonna be alright soon. You better leave. Huh? Uh, oh, yeah. Anyway, thanks for listening to me. I guess I'll, I'll move on then. Bye. Yeah, uh, bye. But I, I'm not gonna feel bad for you, bro. It seems no one else will come tonight. Alright, we can go to sleep then. Let's go. All right, let's go, let's go, uh, go to bed. All right, we interrupt our morning show for an urgent message. Today at 6.28 a.m., there was a powerful solar uh, energy eruption. This flare was larger than scientists predicted. The air temperature has reached a critical level. Authorities have declared a state of emergency. We urge all citizens to avoid going to the... We, what? What? We, we urge all citizens to avoid... <laughs> we all we urge all citizens to avoid going outside during the daylight hours. Now on to the news. Aliens people emerging from ground. I need something to drink. Eyewitnesses report contact with visitors around the city. Am I having a stroke? One witness encountered a middle-aged man who had perfectly white teeth. Whoa. Boy, hell nah. Is this the new Giga Chad? Strong ass jaw. Similar incidents with visitors sporting perfect teeth have been observed. So if they, if you want to identify them, check their teeth. Please stay alert and calm. Now let's move on to other news. Okay. Perfect teeth, perfect teeth. Let me see, living room. Bro, this man lanky as hell. Yeah, did, did you want something? I need to check on you. What do you want to check? I want to check your teeth. Do you want to see my teeth? Well, look at them. They still have the taste of unhappiness and smoke on them. Okay, those are those are a little dirty. Okay, yellowish, huh? Well, don't fuck with me with, with your test. I'm not a visitor. So you you finna get the hell out of my house regardless, nigga? Don't play with me. 
I, I don't think I have nobody else to talk to. All right, so Brody is in the clear. Let's go ahead and drink a beer. Let's go to sleep. Next night. Okay, somebody is here. Is he still here chilling? I can't, I can't go in there? Okay. All right, who's at my door at these hours? Answer me. Ugh. Uh, let me tell you right away. I'm not afraid of the heat, but I'm still looking for a quiet place. Can I find that place? Can I find peace at your place? Who are you? I need to hear some type of backstory from them. It doesn't matter anymore. You're asking if I'm a visitor, aren't you? No, I'm not a visitor, but there is something I would ask of you. Later, I'm not sure yet. What are you, what are you trying to ask me? Hold on. Wait, take off your jacket? Hold on, what, what, what are you about to do, bro? You don't mind the heat or take off your jacket? Wait, so like the visitors, are, are they like susceptible to heat, bro? Maybe, maybe, maybe they're like really cold or something like that. Take off your jacket. No, it's okay if you don't let me in. I'll just keep moving. I'm not gonna beg or, or bother you. You you're not you're not giving me enough, bro. Like you're not giving me enough. You gotta leave. I get it. Okay, bye. I see you got a lot of gunpowder residue on your hands. Can you shoot me? What? Yeah, you need the bullets for yourself. Bye. She wanted me to shoot her? Somebody's here. Somebody's here. Alright. Oh. Oh hell no, nah, boy. Jack Black looking at us. Alright, how unfor how unfortunate we are. We've witnessed firsthand the consequences of human passions. The earth will be cleaned. The earth will be cleansed. The sun will do its work. And we will go to a new clean world. That's the fucking good news. Bro, you, you're scaring me. Are you out of your mind? Listen to me. I'll give you a brief rundown. The sun burns and burns us for a reason. It bakes sins out of us. We've all done unsor all we've we've all done all sorts of things, and now the sun is angry. It gives its hits to us. And that's the good thing. All our signs will be over. We'll live our lives properly. You mean we all have to die? But what's gonna happen to you then? You mean we all have to die? Nah! Signs will fade away, the sun may die. But we will live! What is, the, what is he talking about? Is this man crazy? There will be no more deaths, no more stealing, no more greedy bastards who can't sell me what I want for a fair price. <laughs> what? <laughs> Can you imagine such a thing? Do you realize what this is all about? You're not coming in, bro. Did you pretend you didn't know anything about the sun? Well, fuck you then. I'll save someone else. All right, bye-bye. You can't just say bye-bye after talking crazy like that. <laughs> what the heck? Somebody else? Okay. Oh no. Too bad we are the witnesses. Maybe we are participants too. Who are you? Just a person. I'm not looking for anything. I'm not forcing anyone to do anything. I came out of the shadows. I'll stay in the shadows. What are you talking about? You're weird. It's even safer that way for me, mostly. But still. It's, e it's easier to preserve something from floods, fires, and time. Not every seed becomes a tree, hey? Will you read my fortune? Choose where I should open the book and read a line? Open at the beginning, top paragraph, open near the middle. Let's open, let's open at the beginning. The dead will come and tell, and he will not be believed. What does that mean? I need to think now. Maybe I'll see you later. All right, no one else is coming tonight. So we only have this one guy in here, bro. Hey, this might be the only guy that I trust. I ain't gonna lie. I don't trust nobody else. Good morning, dear viewers. This is the morning news. Solar activity remains abnormal. And experts predict that it will continue to intensify. The criteria continues to be reports from eyewitnesses. FEMA is an acronym for Federal Emergency Management Agency. FEMA stuff members wear yellow hazmat suits. FEMA special committee started functioning recently, but they have discovered a new indicator of visitors. They believe that besides the white teeth, they can be identified by dirt under the nails. This will be discovered during an inspection in one of their houses. Employees encountered a woman who had worked as a nurse. For some unknown reason, she had dirt under her nails. Given so you make sure y'all wash your hands, bro. If y'all got dirt under your nails, you're screwed. Given that visitors emerged from the ground, the woman was taken for testing. Her dangerous status was confirmed. Okay, let me check Brody's nails. Let me check your nails, Brody. Come here. Yeah, did you want something? Uh, I need to check. I need to check on you. Uh, let me check them hands. Where did that even come from? Dirt under the fingernails. Is that supposed to be a sign? They can just wash their hands. That's all. That's all it takes. 
So what, every gardener is a visitor now? That's ridiculous. Look at the nails. Huh. Well, am I a visitor? Of course not. Okay, bro, I'm just checking, bro. I gotta stay safe out here. Okay, let's see who's at my door. Oh! Oh, hell no! I don't care what you say, you're not getting in. Why are you here? How's it going here? Is everything okay? <laughs> this man is a crackhead, bro. This man is a crackhead, bro. You're not getting in here. Why are you ignoring my question? Listen away. Are you alone in the house? Oh wait, this that's that's what they said earlier. It's it's gonna be somebody that asks if you're alone. Just curious. You're reading someone's fortune. Promising salvation to some driving some away. Uh I almost told him I'm alone on accident. Alright. I have I have other people taking shelter here. You're lucky tonight. I can hear someone whispering in your rooms. But who knows what'll happen tomorrow? This man's weird. So if I didn't have nobody here, would he like would he like attack me or something? Who's this? Oh! Uh, can I rest at your place? What? You have a whole body on your shoulder. Where did you come from? I don't remember anymore. I don't care about it. I'm just very tired. I want to get some rest. I'll collapse from exhaustion. Is your partner sick? That's my husband. He died. I can't bury him properly now. It's pointless, so... It's pointless to let him go now. Her husband has pretty messed up teeth. Should I, just, should I let him in? Wait, come on in. Don't, don't do no funny business. I just need a break. Okay. You, 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 you better bury his ass and, and, and leave the next day. Amoogus? Is that supposed to be like, is that, is that like a, a joke for Amoogus? You see what's going on? Fucking hell. How's it going down here? What do you need? Just curious, that's all. Alright, so he has messed up teeth. Okay, so actually I've got a little scheme. You can easily make some money. With the sun feeling so good, you can make some money without even trying. Among all the losers, are you scared of something? But you just need to hustle, bitch. What? Are, why are you talking to me like this? What, what, what are you offering? Survive. What else is there? We gotta make plans all we can to hell with the sun. Keep moving, you know. Let's go, shall we? His teeth is alright. I guess I'll let him in. Oh, now you're talking. Finally, someone with some sense, bitch. Well, this man has a potty mouth. Uh, somebody else. Okay. Hello? Oh, you look normal. It's so quiet at night. Hi. Can I come in? Um. Have you been watching the house? What? <laughs> no, of course not. It's rare for a house to be full of people. To be so quiet at night. Someone forgets themselves. Someone someone forgets themselves in alcohol and yells. Someone screams in pain and burns. Someone just screams with unbearable sorrow or sorrow. Um, where did you come from? There was a hospital <clears throat> Damn. Ooh. That would hurt. There was a hospital in the center of town. Yes, there was. But it became overwhelmed with patients and we couldn't cope. The scariest part is that many visitors infiltrated in such conditions. The situation spiraled so out of control that the entire hospital was shut down. It's pure chaos in there now. All right, sir, go ahead, come in. I hope I can help somehow. Good morning, dear viewers, this is the morning news. The Valley of FEMA staff members have organized quarantine zones. Anyone showing signs of visitors is directed there. Some people express concern that the identity of visitors remains unknown. However, FEMA assures that they're all merely ill individuals in need of assistance. Additionally, FEMA has identified a new indicator of visitors' intensely irritated blood red eyes. This information was discovered through experiments with detailed with detained guests. So blood red eyes. Alright. Living room. Let me check on you, bro. You know I gotta check on you every day. Let me check your eyes. Every day gets more surreal. What if I don't sleep well, or if I or if I cry? I can't make sense of how this all works anymore. What do you want? If there's a sign, check out or several. Okay, your eyes are good. Now I'm going to be a visitor tonight. I'll go cry and I'll reminisce about the peaceful times. Shit, my bad, bro. I'm just I'm trying to stay safe. That's all. I right, nobody's in my cabinet. Okay. What about here? What's in the, who's in the kitchen? Who are you? Did I let you in? All right. Hey, what's up, bitch? <laughs> yeah, yeah, your ass finna get out of my house talking to me like that, bro. I need to check on you, bro. 
What do you want to check? I checked it. I've seen his teeth. Um, let me check your eyes. My eyes have been itchy these days. You think it's from the sun or what? Oh! Oh, I got a gun! It's just some kind of disease. Uh, hell, you guys getting shot, boy! Bitch, you suck my dick! Shut up! Suck this! Nigga! Get your ass out of here. Alright, so is mine in this pantry? Why are you in my pantry, bro? You know there's other rooms in here you can, you can... Why you got blood right there? Hmm? I need to check on you. Let me check your eyes. Oh, yeah, I'll show you my eyes. Not sure if you noticed, but I have polycuria. That's what it means. What the hell is polycuria? My vision actually worse because of it. You think having two pupils in wild would be handy, but alas. Hmm, let me, let me check on you again. Let me check your hands this time, bro. Let me check them hands. Wait, he, does, he doesn't want to show me his teeth. Alright, his hands are good. Alright, who knows what tomorrow might bring. Okay. Alright, who's in the bathroom? Are you okay? I need to get some rest. Alright, can I just check on you real quick? Alright, let me check on your teeth. What? Okay. Those are perfectly white. Those look perfectly white, bro. Let me, let me check on something else. Um... I don't know if I check her hands or her eyes. Let's check her eyes. I have one energy left, bro. Let me check your hands. My hands are tired from carrying the one that re they refuse to save. Okay. Alright, so I can't talk to her no more. I can't talk to nobody no more. Alright, let's go ahead and go to sleep. Well, I, I hope I don't have a visitor in here, bro. Okay. Who is it? I'm from the FEMA company. We're here to help you. Huh? came alone no of course not our crew is going door to door in the neighborhood we're splitting up to get the job done faster I won't be staying long how will you help us first we need to do some investigation based on the results I'll be able to take further action by notifying the management you just need to wait a little but do you have an action plan of course it's not like we can act spontaneously we'll take any one person with this for examination since you may have been exposed to solar radiation we'll check the the health with the health of one based on that we'll decide if you if you all need help it can be anyone all right what's next wait either we will evacuate from the dangerous area or we will bring the man back to you we will issue instructions either way huh now I'm taking the man from you we'll go goodbye Okay. All right. I thought I was a woman this whole time. Okay. What a mess. Did you see that? What kind of society is this? The beasts around here are revealed. Finally! Nobody's pretending. What do you mean? Are you one of the beasts? We're all the same. We're all the same beast. If you can't, de if you deny it long enough, you'll be eaten alive. No bones left. Now the new order is whoever who is the strongest is right. Whoever says he's not one of this kind of people will be dead tomorrow. What? How how many houses have you switched? I haven't been anywhere for a long time, but everywhere I see chaos, fear blinds people to see so many times. Fear blinds people to so many things. You still have some order. That's interesting. I'd like to see you keep it. Nah, you're not you're not coming in. Ah, so that's how it is. Wait for some news. Okay. Well, I can't ever walk away from this door, bro. What if I want a snack? Let me in. Huh? Didn't you didn't you leave with your father the other day? Did something happen? <laughs> my my dad. <laughs> Killed my dad. What? Who did this? Who did this? We had visitors. They sat in our room. Daddy was talking to them about something and then they killed him. So how did you get away? Our house is, is now on fire. I, I, ain't, I ain't gonna reject the little girl, bro. Pause! That sounded crazy, bro! I'm, I, 
Oh man, I'm scared. I'm, I might gotta kick her out now, bro. I might gotta kick her out. You might be the next one shot. I ain't gonna capture you. Okay. Who is, is this Logan? What the hell? I'm not from around here. Uh, I don't I don't like staying in one place too long. I'm sorry, bro. I'm sorry. I can't kill. I don't like I don't like staying in one place too long. Can't run what's wrong as much anymore. I'm getting too old for that. Alright, what are you looking for here? In town? I just wanna rest. After this damn sun, the visitors started popping up more. Crawling everywhere. I'm telling you, we need to snuff them out. They're trying to pull something on us. Do you want to kill the visitors? Aren't you doing the same thing? Or do you just tell them to shoot? You're not stupid, right? You gotta be careful with them. That's the thing. Okay. Alright, come on in, brody. I knew you wanted a pushover. A real man. We'll mix it up with these visitors. They won't come near us by a mile. Alright. Who's at my door now? Whoa. Anybody home? Who are you? I used to live a couple of blocks away. We were evacuated from our home by those yellow suits, but they don't they didn't take us anywhere. They didn't provide us a place to live. Where should we go? What should we do? While everyone's figuring out where to go, I'm here trying to save myself. Um, why did they kick you out? They said there was a big sunstroke or something on our house. What? A big that don't that don't make sense. Those in yellow suits kicked us out. Somebody was grabbed, taken for tests. Some were released. Go ahead, come in. Yeah, thanks. Don't open the door to those yellow ones, okay? They're gonna take us somewhere. Alright, no one else is coming? You smell decaying death. Someone was killed tonight. What? I let a visitor in? Attempts to photograph visitors result in, in severe blurring in the photos. Unfortunately, the reasons for this phenomenon have not been determined yet. However, FEMA urges citizens to use this new information to identify visitors. So you gotta take a picture. Who the hell died? Who died? Bro, are you okay? Yeah, do you want something? I already talked to him, so I, I might as well, uh, I might as well check. I might as well check for him, bro. Um, photo. Alright, we wanna take a photo, bro. Don't you get the feeling that we're heading towards some kind of terrifying hell? Everything allegedly is controlled, yet chaos is unfolding. Well, take a picture, come on. You're taking a picture of the person you're talking to. He's sitting quietly. He doesn't fit the frame. But you don't see anything unusual. I'm just scared of what will happen next. Okay. So, bro right there? I can trust bro. Bro has been bro has been cool this entire time. And who the hell died? Did you kill somebody, ma'am? Oh, son. Please don't, don't let anyone in. I need to check on you. Let me take a photo. It, it, it's been a long time since I was last photographed. Go ahead. Why not? Alright. You purposely hold still, wait for the moment. When the photo shows up, you can see it's blurry completely. Oh yeah, I just feel like I'm gonna die, bitch! Shoot! I don't hear nothing! I don't hear nothing! Shut up! Oh, so she killed somebody. Who did she kill? Alright. Keep your eyes open. The visitors could be any one of us. We need to check on you, Brody. Photo. Let me get that photo. I don't really like taking pictures, bro. Oh well, bro. You finna take one today. Huh? Huh? You don't get it. I'm not taking pictures. Nah, bro. I don't, I don't know if I can trust you. I don't know. Just take a simple photo, bro. I don't I don't know if I can trust you. Should I shoot him in front of this little girl, bro? Hell, she might be a demon too. Shoot his ass. No way. <laughs> All right, you, you, you see what happened to him, right? Can I not talk to her? Okay, I, I can't talk to her. Taking a photo of the doctor, nothing out of the ordinary. All right, doctor is cool, doctor is cool. I probably should've heard bro out, bro, I don't know. Let me see. Or the FEMA team. We need to do a survey of your neighborhood. The man you took isn't enough? Last one. Oh, that? The examination procedure is quite exhausting right now. A man is in rehabilit rehabilitation. After he rests, We'll bring him back right away. Do you want to take someone else? Yes, I'm afraid one person was not enough to understand the situation. We'll need one more person from your house. Anyone would do. Thank you for your cooperation. Let's see. Who do I have? I have the girl, the doctor, and Brody that's been here the entire time. Go ahead, take somebody. Go ahead. 
No, he took him. It's all for your own safety. I didn't want you to take him, bro. You could have took the old man or something. Damn. Oh, no. He's back. What do you think of that one in the suit? He's doing his job. All right. These are the times, aren't they? You got to be careful. Is that okay? Can you leave? Yeah, sure. I didn't think you had any trouble talking to me. Just first, are you alone in the house right now? I'm not alone, bro. Getting ready? Do you know what you're getting ready for? It's the last days, didn't they tell you? Dogs rule the world, and only dogs will be here. Have a good stay. Okay. Alright, it's no longer safe to live on the surfaces of the earth. You board up all your windows and barricade the doors. After confirming with your tenants, you decide not to go out into the outside world anymore. You pray helplessly that someday this will all be over. If this nightmare ever ends, at the very least, you have peace of mind knowing that there are only humans under your roof. Huh. So I didn't get killed by any, um... By any, uh... By any visitors. Alright, so we're going to be back into the rest of the endings. So, I don't know which ending I got. I think I got a good ending. But um, this is the bad ending right here. Okay, bad ending. Don't let anyone in the house. I'm alone. Ha 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 ha! come? It's hard to be alone. What's wrong with you? Come with me, young man. And it all right, it ended just like that. No one will know what happened with the last guest arrived. The house is left unoccupied for a long time. After your terrible disappearance, everyone avoids the abandoned house. Super. All right, victim ending. Stay with a few guests. It's no longer safe. Okay, I got this one. So that's the uh, that's the that's the victim ending. In fact, your body is mutilated by guess. No, I didn't get this one. I didn't get this one. All right, this is the massacre ending. There were multiple deaths in the house. Why is bro in the corner like that? Um. Okay, he's he's zooming through this. Okay, shoot him. So if there's multiple, what is that whispering? There's multiple deaths? Like, what, what, what do you mean? Like, they, they shoot multiple people? Oh, man. Yeah. Okay. So he's just shooting. He's shooting a lot of people. What's going on? Oh, so... Okay, so if you shoot more than one person a day, you've done a lot for those who you let in. But too much blood has been spilled. You are too dangerous to stay in this house. You must leave. What? what? This is my house! What are you talking about? You are being driven out of your own home by people fearing for their safety. Uh, I, so I got the good ending, okay? So I barricade, barricade the windows and stuff like that. Okay, so I got the good ending. All right, cool. All right, y'all. That was not... Wait, what? I was about to say that's not my neighbor. All right, y'all. That was no, I'm not a human. Very good game, bro. A lot of reading. My mouth was getting very dry. I couldn't read at all. The entire time. I'm not gonna lie. You know what I'm saying, bro? I don't want to brag or nothing, but you know, I kind of got the good ending. You feel me? Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next video, man. Peace.